Hello, today we will discuss about hive. So today in this class we will discuss about what is hive and where it is used. Now this hive is a data warehouse infrastructure. So hive is data warehouse infrastructure so hive is basically a data warehouse interfaces infrastructure tool to process structured data so this is basically a tool and this tool is to process structured data So Hive is a tool which is there to process so that we can process structure data in Hadoop. So in Hadoop we can process the various structured data. So it resides on a top of Hadoop. So like we have a Hadoop. So it resides on top of Hadoop. Why it resides on top of Hadoop? So that to so summarize big data and we can make querying and analyzing easy. So it is there to summarize big data. That means to make querying and analyzing easy so this is basically the use of hive now hive is basically a tool tool which is there to process structured data in hadoop it is built on top of hadoop so that we can summarize big data that means we can query and we can analyze the data easily that's why we can use hive now this is deployed by This one is developed by Facebook so that they can process their structured data. Later by Apache Software Foundation, that means then by Apache Software Later by Apache Software Foundation took it up and developed it further so that they can make it open source under Apache Hive. So after then, they make it as open source and we call it as now Apache Hive. Developed by Facebook to process their search data. After that, Apache Software Foundation took it up with as developed further as open source now apache hive now it is used by different companies for example we have amazon amazon uses it for amazon elastic map reduce map reduce so for this function amazon uses hive so that they can have amazon em are elastic map reduce now let's understand what hive is not we are sometimes we have some confusion related what is hive so hive is not hive is not a relational database First, that it is not any relational database. It is not a design for online transaction processing.
we call it as OLTP, online transaction processing. It is not a design for OLAP. It is not a language for real time queries. is not a language for real time queries and row level updates so this is hype is not it is not any language it is not any data relational database now let's discuss what are its features Hive features. Now, Hive basically stores schema in a database and processes data into HDFS. So, Hive stores. It stores schema in a database. In a database and process data into HDFS. This is the very first feature that it stores schema on a database and process data into HDFS. It is designed for OLAP. Where OLAP stands for Online Analytical Processing. It is not there for transaction, online transaction processing, whereas it is designed for analytical processing. It stores schema in a database and process data into HDFS, then it is designed for OLAP analytical processing. Now it provides SQL type language. Which is structured query language. It provides SQL type language for querying. For query purposes, it provides SQL type language. We call it as Hive Query Language or HQL, which is Hive Query Language. Now, it is this Hive is familiar. Hive is fast and it is scalable, and also it is extensible. It is familiar, it is fast, it is scalable and extensible. So these are the features of Hive because it stores schema in a database. It is not a database, it stores schema in a database and process data. It is designed for online analytical processing. It, pro it is not, it provides a query language like SQL, but we have HiveQL or HQL. It is familiar, it is fast, scalable and extensible. These are the features of Hive. So this is about Hive. We will continue with Hive in our next class. Thank you so much.